What's the hurry? Why do we need to get this man so quickly in a lifetime appointment we can't wait for an ABA evaluation? Take a look at his record. Raises some serious questions and an understanding why there's a second evaluation underway. He's a protege of former Attorney General of Oklahoma and EPA Administrator Scott Pruitt. He was appointed by Mr. Pruitt to serve as Oklahoma's Solicitor General. For six years, he carried out the Pruitt agenda and filed cases and briefs at his direction. As we all know, Administrator Scott Pruitt has been involved in serial scandals at the Environmental Protection Agency. Just yesterday, the Washington Post reported that Pruitt asked an EPA aide to f ask Republican donors to find his wife a job. Who stepped up to help Mr. Pruitt's wife find a job? Mr. Leonard Leo, the Executive Vice President of the Federalist Society. This all comes together in a moment. He sent Mrs. Pruitt's resume to the infamous dark money group known as the Judicial Crisis Network, who confirmed that they had hired and paid Mrs. Pruitt as an independent contractor. Are we surprised then that the Judicial Crisis Network has also lavished praise on Mr. Wyrick, calling him, quote, one of the best legal minds in the country? I'm also <coughs> troubled by emails that show Mr. Wyrick worked to facilitate the sending of letters from Attorney General Pruitt's office that were essentially ghostwritten at the time by energy company lobbyists. There are more emails from Attorney General Pruitt's tenure which are being blocked from release by Oklahoma's Supreme Court on which Mr. Warwick now sits. Any wonder the ABA has asked for a second evaluation of this man? We've had many troubling judicial nominees come before this committee in the past year and a half. This is one of the worst. I will oppose Mr. Warwick's nomination for a lifetime appointment to the court without an ABA rating or a thorough investigation.